In this video, we're going to be talking about the most popular modifications for the second generation Lexus IS. So the first category is not a mod, but it's something a lot of people neglect, and that's proper maintenance. The first thing you want to do if you haven't already is contact your local Lexus dealership and see if there's any recalls on your car and get those taken care of. The next best thing you could do for the longevity of your Lexus IS engine is to switch to full synthetic motor oil as these cars run the best on that type of oil. You also want to check your air filter and consider upgrading it from a paper one to a mesh dial one for easier cleaning and better airflow. If your car has over 100,000 miles, it's a good idea to change your PCV valve and clean your throttle body, which are both easy to do, to ensure your car keeps running smoothly. You'll also want to check your battery and alternator to ensure that they're operating at the correct voltage. To prevent your car from misfiring and to keep it idling smoothly, you may want to check and replace your spark plugs, which are a pretty easy thing to do. On to the next category that everybody always wants to seem to talk about, and that's performance. You want to start with good tires depending on your performance needs. If you're just daily driving the car like I do, you can get away with all seasons and burn rubber and who cares, they're cheap. But if you're looking for the best possible performance, it's going to cost you a little more but you will benefit from it. While you're considering tires, you may want to also consider lighter and wider aftermarket wheels as those can increase handling by allowing you to run a wider tire and improve the overall look of the vehicle. If you're looking for exhaust options, there's plenty for this vehicle. A lot of people cut the mufflers off or the resonators or they just weld in straight pipe, delete the cats, get a mid pipe. There's so many different options. A proper cat back or axle back system will give you the best performance and sound if you're not looking for something too loud but still want the performance aspect. For example, I'm running an F-Sport axle back with a resonator delete for that added aggression and it really works out nicely. If you're looking for better handling around the turns, lowering springs or coilover suspension are your options. Lowering springs give you a fixed ride height and they just lower the vehicle on the struts of your choice or you can go with the coilover setup that already has everything you need and adjustable dampening. If you're looking to make the car more stiff, you can add a front and rear strut tower brakes. With increased power and handling comes the need for better stopping. Ceramic brake pads and slotted or slotted end drilled rotors are a great upgrade on this car. Technically, this car already comes with a cold air intake from the factory due to its air induction points. A lot of people just drop in a upgraded filter and call it a day. You can also order full intake systems like the F-Sport or the Joe Z, which come with the box and hard pipe. Or you can just drill a hole in the stock box like I did and mimic the F-Sport style box and add on your own hard pipe. I chose to go with the RR Racing carbon fiber intake pipe. They are the same company that makes the best known widely available tune for this car. Now your car performs better, it's lowered, it's on aftermarket wheels, but you want to make it look a little bit more unique. Well this first mod's everybody's favorite price, free. You can debadge the car and take emblems off just to give the car a cleaner look. I removed the words Lexus and IS350 off my trunk for next to nothing with some fishing line on a hot day and then I rubbed it down with a microfiber with some rubbing compound. Tinting your windows has multiple advantages as it keeps the sun out of the car and keeps your interior a little bit nicer keeps curious eyes out depending how dark you go and it looks really cool. The only negative is that it does draw attention from the police so you may get a ticket depending if you go too dark or not and depending where you live. Other great cosmetic add-ons are the front lip, side skirts, and rear diffuser which I haven't gotten around to yet so here's a nice picture. Some of these cars come with HID headlights and some don't. Either way you can upgrade the headlights. V-Land makes a very popular pair right now. I chose to go with the VIP Motos brand about two years ago and I switched the low beams to LED and it has the LED check mark as well and they look really good. As far as taillights go, the stock ones look good, but I really like the updated look of the VLAN full LED plug and play taillights. There are uh, smoked, clear, and red versions. These are the red ones, and there are a few other companies that make similar looking lights as well. Speaking of LEDs, that's always a nice cheap upgrade for any of the old incandescent lighting, and you can also do it in the interior, which we'll move on to next. 
So the best way to update the interior is with Bluetooth music streaming, and this is the best Bluetooth adapter that I've used and recommend specifically for these cars because it works so well. I'll have the link in the description below for this product as well as all the other ones that I use. There are a few other companies that focus on the multimedia aspect of the Lexus IS, such as Grom. They make a little plug-in kind of computer that sits in your glove box and can transform your touchscreen and update with like Android and Maps. But if you want to keep it simple and just do Bluetooth music streaming, this is the easiest way via the aux jack. The earlier models of the Lexus IS come in a wood trim for the center console area and the door trim and that can be updated by wrapping it with vinyl. I chose to use the brushed aluminum style and it really updates and changes the whole look of the interior. Also, changing out the chrome shift knob that comes with the car with something like this, which is leather and carbon fiber, just updates the look as well and just looks a lot better. So now you know some of the more popular modifications for the second generation Lexus IS. Drop in the comments below what your favorite mod is and why. Any of the mods that I've listed, I've done videos on, so feel free to browse the channel and check those out. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to support the channel and future videos. And also follow me on Instagram at Marty Motoring and check out my website, MartyMotoring.com for blog posts as well as merchandise. And as always, leave a little rubber on the road.